And the former president can stand trial on charges he plotted to overturn the results of the last presidential election. That's a ruling today from a federal appeals panel who struck down his broad claims of immunity. Joining us now is more CBS 2's Alice Gaynor. Alice. Maurice and Christine, this panel was unanimous. The wait for this ruling pushed back the federal election interference trial against the former president. It had been scheduled to get underway next month, but last week the judge delayed the start of that trial to let the appeals process play out. This ruling means former President Trump can be prosecuted for his actions while in the White House and leading up to the Capitol riots on January 6, 2021, when a mob of his supporters stormed the Capitol. The three-judge panel on the U.S. Court of Appeals for the District of Columbia Circuit upheld the decision from a lower court denying Trump absolute immunity from prosecution. Two of the judges are appointees of President Biden. One was named to the bench by then-President George H.W. Bush. Last month, during oral arguments, the judges noted the unusual nature of Trump's claim of broad immunity. I think it's paradoxical to say that his constitutional duty to take care that the laws be faithfully executed allows him to violate criminal laws. In the panel's 57-page ruling, they wrote, For the purpose of this criminal case, former President Trump has become Citizen Trump with all of the defenses of any other criminal defendant. But any executive immunity that may have protected him while he served as president no longer protects him against this prosecution. What they're saying is that criminal cases are different. Yes, we have concluded that when it comes to civil cases and official acts, presidents do enjoy absolute immunity. Criminal cases are different. Criminal investigations are different. We have to be allowed to let those proceed. A spokesperson for Trump said President Trump respectfully disagrees with the D.C. Circuit's decision and will appeal it in order to safeguard the presidency and the Constitution. The appeals court has given Trump until February 12th to ask the Supreme Court to halt the ruling to hear his appeal. Keep in mind, the United States Supreme Court doesn't have to accept this case for review. In fact, they declined to take most cases that are presented with them.